and human sweat. Fixing the bike sheds. Gentlemen, am I sensing conflict? No, you're sensing me trying to teach this little princess here the concept of work. Booyah! What? I'm going about in a football pitch, picking your nose. It's called coaching, odd job. I can see what needs to happen here. Yes, thank you. He needs to apologise. He needs to clean up his mug. No, you both need to follow me to my office. I think I can see how to remedy this situation. <laughs> Jupiter is conjoining Mars in your sexual fortune. Hey, so is here today's going to be my luckiest day of the year. So, horoscopes are totally bogus. My man says the stars never lie. And your man thinks the Holly is a documentary. <laughs> Just forget it. There ain't no such thing as a lucky day in Helm's Mare. There is today. Mr. Cam stays still. What are you girls doing in here then? The bird's gone for registration. And give the bird attention. Just read that horoscopes, miss. And... Um, what does it say for Pisces? Uh, Mercury is in Libra around him. You're going to be really nice to everyone. It's like they've got a window into your soul, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Coincidence. Is this some sort of sick joke? You can't respect another man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Look, the point is, I can't be a caretaker. No offence, but I actually pass some of my GCSEs. I'm sensing a lot of fear coming from you, Graham. Yeah, Graham. What are you so scared of? I thought you said caretaking was easy. It is. Good. Then you'll swap roles until 4pm this afternoon. Oh, please. If it was up to me, I'd do it for a week. There we go. A week it is. I'm so glad that you two are starting to see eye to eye. <laughs> Is even distributed. Ooh. Time to crack out my trusty spirit level. Oh, we're really late now. 
Okay, of course. I'm just going to have another sweet round. Oh, come on, can we just ride this? I'm not spending my whole day hanging out with Ding Dong and Dobby. No, over 20 traffic accidents a year. Of course, my badly packed hands. Oi, careful, stop messing oh, about now. Oh, oh, was that a rib? I think, I think that was a rib. Hospital, you sure? We're really late for school. Hospital, yeah? Hospital. All right, get in the van. Oh, wow. Well. Where's Mr. Bell? Is that yours? Go, 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 go. Hey, Mr. Nan. I thought I'd find you here. I was hoping that you'd put up some posters for our charity fashion show. I'll give you a hand if you like. You don't have to ask. Yes, what is it? No, I'll fail. Yes. Right, well, they all have to be up by lunchtime. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I think I walked on your nice clean floor on the way over. Three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we see a doctor, please? I've got a young person there with a possible fracture. Oh, it's a two-hour wait. In touch with speed things up. We're doing school around now. Of course, and who would you like me to cross off the list? The kid in the next race or the old man with a zimmer frame? Point taken. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm looking about for a wheelchair. Oh, this is a joke. Can we just take the money and slam? Not if you want to see DJ Rush tonight. Hello? Chuckle Brothers and Mabel, sit down. Where are you? We're on our way back. We're almost there. Really looking forward to our romantic dinner tonight. I don't think you promise we'll end up like last time. I... You forgot? And I waited outside your flat for two hours in the pouring rain? Ah. Well, that's why you've got the spare key. Now you can wait inside. Gaylin, take that out of Gavin's nose! Ah. For romantic dinner, eh? That's why you were so chill about me seeing BJ Rush tonight. Shh. Okay, but... You've got a sweat on. No snogging, I'm not ever sitting on that sofa again. Mm. I'm not sure if I can do that. Gross. I can't believe you got away your bumpy registration. And I even got attention for Christmas. He must have entered my circle of influence. Mr. Gange, I don't reckon whether we get any attentions today. Yeah? Who's sneezing next? You've done your composition homework. Because I aim. Four o'clock, Mark. Here we go. <laughs> Hold up. Where's the Mr. Harris is running late. I'll be taking this class in which no one is allowed to play the recorder. What about composition? What composition? Do you believe anything? Hey, posters are up. Certainly are. They're on every flipping wall in the building. And pinballs. And locker. Bang your new tracksuit, sir. Ingrid's gonna be well dear when she sees I'm all over the school, oh no! Please tell me I don't look like a complete goob. Amber, I respect you too much to lie to you. No, I'm just for myself lying. <laughs>
What do you mean nothing's broken? Not something snapped. When you were undressing for the x-ray, we found this. Oh, my spirit level. Well, that explains the abject lack of pain. I thought it was the shock. Oh, well, no harm done. Guys, where are you going? Can you believe that? Oi, what are you doing here? I'm taking for you. Go on, play with the balls and that. Oh, sorry, can't. I ain't got no kit. Yeah, that's right. Reckon you should give us a detention. Yeah, man usually gives us attention and makes us be lapsed. Hey, I ain't Mr. Nun. I'm nice. Just do it in your uniform and I'll say no more. Don't do this thing. <sighs> Can we get a wiggle on? I'd quite like to get back to school at some point. Me too. No music table, we're missing proper lessons. No offence, sir. This is messed up. I want more money. If he's getting more money, I want a badger. No one is getting more money or a badger. Mm -hmm. Ah, see? I told you I'd find it at that apartment right there. The agents obviously made liberal use of Photoshop. Still, beggars can't be choosers. Beggars make easy money compared to this. <laughs> <laughs> Whack it! Oh, come on, you useless bunch of village rape. Which is good one. All right? Just, uh, checking my spanners. Such a brave face you show to the world, Graham. You even had me fooled. I should have remembered the scared little boy inside. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have asked you to put up my posters. I should have known it would be too much for you. What? I plastered the whole flipping school in them. I swear, this whole corridor was completely... You are finding caretaking a bit of a challenge. Oh, you? come off it. I could do this one-legged wearing a blindfold. Well... You were a trier, I would. I I could get some more printed up if you'd like another go. Oi, groundskeeper Wally, where are my posters? What posters? The posters you stole off the wall to make me look like an idiot. Why well, you do a pretty good job of that yourself, sir? Shut up, Murphy. You're going down, Rogers. You forget. Games are my specialist subjects. Not anymore, mate. I'm the PE teacher now. And while you're here, Mrs. Mott, the show is me cleaning. Now, if you'll excuse me, the tea's getting cold. The uh, agent said that the key would be under the mat, though. Can you try the ledge over the door? Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we are. Well, I'll have to have a word with that agent. Sure, I'll be very happy here. I imagine. Crispy, if you ever need to talk to anyone about, you know, my moth situation, don't worry. Everything's under control. <laughs> my lava lamp! I can't go to school looking like this! I'll have to use your washing machine and blow for it. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Just as long as you give me some money towards the electric and the whole water. Good luck making these odd job. We're close. Too close. Can't believe everyone almost found out I was best mate for the donkey fancying squid eyed goober. Thanks, Mike. At least we got a walk. Chicken Jack. Uh, guys. No. Wait. Uh-oh. Look. Oh, weed. Are you keep telling some way no pinball party? Yeah, that's right. What, do I live? No, I'd actually rather kiss a dog's bum. Because it's less bad. Oh, right. Traffic. 
I promise. Good. Although... We are running a teeny bit late, so... Could you pick up the ingredients for a curry? Next time. Traffic's moving. That'd be great. Got a vote. They're all up. I could do this for a living if I wasn't so clever and handsome. <laughs> Where are they? Right there. I'm having funny, love, but do you need your eyes tested? <laughs> Maple Grove. Yeah, I knew something wasn't right. When you've been around for as long as I have, you have an instinct for these types of things. You must know the thing. I'm 27. <laughs> Yo, can we scoop? Clock's ticking. Lieutenant, is she pressing charges? Any chance I could pop back and get my clothes? No. Of course. Well, I'd better be going. I've got a romantic dinner tonight. Not that I'm trying to make you. I'm sure you've got loads Bye, of... Bye, Dexter. It was nice to see you again. Oh, and whoever she is, I hope she likes the dressing gown. This has been a nightmare. Can we just go home? Great idea. <laughs> Where's the van? It's straight to oh. Call the campus. What's the number? It says here they close at four. Oh, my days. I've got a gig to go to. Right, calm down. My dad works around the corner. We'll give him a call. See? Everything's going to be hunky-dory. Lizzie? Yeah? Still stuck in traffic. When you get to the flat, would you mind peeling some spuds? You talk to millions of people when I'm not trying to see. Will you play? What? Saying good looks all because of when you were born is about as stupid as saying bad looks because of what football team is for. Gotcha! <laughs> what are you doing with my posters? He put you up to this, didn't he? Get your mini mop out of my face, you weirdo! Yeah? to prove that I'm not paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I'm not. He is out to get me. Oh, dear Graham. Let's put an end to this experiment after all. But I can do it. Okay, taking's easy. There's no judgment here. So, you threaten look, and he gets taken away. But you still think horoscopes are totally bogus. Okay, I guess. I suppose I have to admit that. Oh, oh. That's it. I've had it with you lot today. Detention. See? See? It's totally bogus. Oh, that 
to explain that. <laughs> I was looking at you for us. So we've no flat, no van, no belongings, and no lift. If you'll excuse me, I'm just going to sit over here and do some deep breathing. Sorry, Nero. Like you care. If it makes you feel any better, me and Lizzie are exactly going to have a nice romantic dinner with you sitting there picking your nose. No, it don't. Dex, I spent my entire life hanging out with teachers. All I wanted was one normal night. Look, take this, get a taxi. I reckon you can still make it to see DJ Rush. Really? Wait, come on, what about you? Well, I want Mr. Well back to the flat. You enjoy yourself. You deserve it. some sick beats. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I ruined your dinner, but please don't ever say getting jiggly again. Is living with a teacher really that bad? <clears throat> I think I'm getting used to it. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm going to need someone to stay tonight. Who's lending me their room? He is. Can't kick them out. You're up there, rub it in the face, kick you when you're down. When no one understands them, you know what they're on about. I'm gonna be around. I'm gonna find a common ground. If you know so much about me, where do I go from 